Okay, we're going to attempt to do this again. Previously on this video, I died. So, and when you're going into level three, you're going to have to be very, very careful. This is quite possibly one of the most dangerous parts of the game. Right up there with uh, your first arrival into level four. Level four to me is the hardest part of the game, but going into level three can be pretty tricky because when you first enter, what you got to do is find yourself a spot. Oh my god, a wizard is already right here. This is why I died last time. Sometimes I panic and I just start throwing in commands as fast as I can just to hold it off, you know, so the monster can't do anything, even if that means just repeatedly running into a wall. I do that sometimes. Now at this point in the game, you're pretty much strong enough to survive um, a blob in your cell, but what you got to be careful about, okay, now you can take this opportunity to um, get rid of your junk. So I'm going to get my pine torch out and drop it. Get my other pine torch out and drop it. This enables you to get rid of your excess items without having to worry about being attacked in the process. There are a whole lot of monsters all over me already, so let's get rid of the leather shields first. Drop those. That fucking wizard is all over my ass. Sorry about the profanity, I don't know how you feel about that, but... Uh, okay, yeah, we'll get the rings out of here. Notice I have my hail flask. We'll be needing that. There. Okay, now we got all our junk. And the blob's picking it up. We can see the wizard back there behind the giant, just barely. So we're going to attack that version last. Now sometimes if you watch, if you see a line of monsters, like take a look at this giant. He's two steps back. Why is he not coming up into the next cell? The reason that is is because we got a scorpion right there. And you can't see it unless you're in the same cell as the scorpion. So, and if you let that scorpion hit you one time, you were dead meat. So... So it comes down to one of two things. Either I kill this blob and get ready for him to come into my cell, but I don't know if he's going to be the monster that enters my cell. Otherwise, I can just... Um, and if you want, you can just move forward and back real quick just to check and see if one is there, because if you're not sure. But I know one is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move and attack left really quick and then move back. So here we go. This didn't work last time, if you remember, but... There you go, just like that. Now I'd like for that knight to be the next monster that comes in, but I'm not sure. I'm going to check and see if uh, there's one over here. Yeah, there was one there. Now I'm not even looking at what I'm doing here. Of course, since scorpions don't pick up items, you're, you have no way of knowing if there's another one there. They do give some pretty decent experience, though, so it shouldn't be too long before you be able to reveal that solar torch for what it is, and then light it up so that you can see them. But even still, that doesn't change the fact that they will refrain from picking up items and just go straight into attacking. Now, as much as I love that move forward, attack, and move back, that didn't work very well for me last time, because if you mess up on your typing, you're dead meat. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and kill this guy. These knights are very nasty. They can take up to, depending on your power, anywhere from maybe 15 to 25 hits to destroy, even at the tower that you're at. Whereas these stone giants now, you should be beating them in three or four hits. Oh, I hear another blob. Or is that just him? Well, anyway, I'm kind of moving slower this time because I'm a little scared, to be honest. <laughs> that was 15 right there. I'm going to stop and let my heart slow down. It's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh shit, did you see that? Man, I almost... Oh my god! Now we're not going to be able to just sit here and let this guy hit us over and over again like we were doing with that blob. So we better hope that there's a low-level monster around here. It comes up pretty soon. One of those scorpions actually is carrying a solar torch, so let me see if there's one here. No, there's not. He probably picked it up first. But, um, I missed the solar torch in level 2. 
somewhere. I know I just had it before, but I had to play through it again to get this level to record this. And on my second run around, I wandered around level two for like a half hour looking for it. I could never find it, so. Oh man, two of these jackasses. Alright, what do we got? We have the shield. Well, that should be enough protection as far as item wise. Just run to the. What I'm going to do is run to that intersection down there. And I'm going to turn around and drop the shield and attack that other stone giant. Wait for this one to come up, kill it, and then get away from that wizard. So, here we go. Let's hope there's no scorpions here. <laughs> Man, I should have been dead with those two scorpions just now. I couldn't believe that. you got to keep your volume up and listen for those because... The scorpion sounds about the same as the viper, the snake except it's only two two instances, like somebody making the T sound two times in a row really quick. Shit, I hear one now. Dude, I think he just tried to hit me. Let's be ready, there's another one there. <laughs> oh my god, that one could have had me there. Wait, 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 wait. I hear some weird sounds here. I don't know what's going on. Okay. We got the solar torch. We're alright. Now you can see the scorpions if they come up to you before they actually arrive in your cell. Otherwise, you have no idea where they're coming from. And I watch for that wizard, too. In fact, at this point, I got half a, half a mind to just go ahead and pick up my rings and go after him. But, but no, there's three or four knights on this level that you want to destroy. <clears throat> Get your power up. There he is right there. Let me see if we have the Thu's Flask yet. Yeah, we do. Okay. One of the knights on this level will be carrying a Thu's Flask. And you gotta have that. That will give you considerable power. Now this wizard is not gonna stick around and pick up items either, so... I'm gonna try to lose him if I can. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, though. I'm gonna lure him over to one of these other intersections to where I'm not in his eye shot, and then head back to where I just was, and maybe we can go from there. There's a lot more monsters on this level I've yet to kill. Get over here. As far as that goes, I could go ahead and hit him a couple times. See, he just went the other way now. If you're not in their eye shot, they don't know where you are, and they're not going to come after you. I'm sitting here on a four-way intersection. That's a little dangerous. Um... The way I play this game is just not very typical. I might have to pause the video here and just fast forward to when I'm fighting again or something because if you can only make it 10 minutes longer, I might have to do a two-parter for level three. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I hope that brightness is not too low on this thing because you couldn't see much in level one. Of course, I was using a pine torch, so you'll probably see a lot more now. Where is that wizard at? Where did he go? Thank God I got that solar torch. Like I said before, I couldn't find the one in level 2. I know one of the stone giants in level 2 carries the one. So I don't know if I just never killed the giant, or or if I dropped it and just never found it again, or something. You gotta keep an eye out for that wizard, though. Because <clears throat> it'll come after you. Okay, I got the Thu's Flask, so we're good there. That's really the only item that's important on this level, the Thu's Flask. Because you gotta drink it, and... It will give you power, make you more powerful. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much more powerful, but it's enough that you'll, you know, that the next night around probably will only take less than 20 hits to kill. Whereas that one just now, we saw it took 25. I killed a few scorpions too, so that'll help. What have we got in this room here? Uh, we don't need that lunar torch, so we're gonna drop that. We're gonna get our hail flask keep that on hand and our two rings. If you're going to start wandering around this level, you really only need the rings and the flask. And maybe the scroll, but you know, if you sit there looking at it for too long, you end up screwing yourself up. It's tempting to bring a few more extra items, though, because... You know what? Actually, there's another knight on this level carrying a hail flask as well, if I remember right. So you might actually have two hail flasks. Oh, he's coming back. 